And so now it's time, I think, to, to add a second focus, uh, which is in the home. You know, people uh, like to use their iPods, not just individually, but, you know, with their families or in groups uh, in the home, in the living room, the kitchen, the ski cabin, wherever. And, uh, and there are some products on the market that help you do that. They're powered speakers. Uh, they're, they're all reasonably priced. This is uh, uh, probably the, you know, one of the better quality ones. The Bose one sells for $299. It's been a big hit. Um, but the problem with these products is that none of them really offer home stereo quality. While you might get one of these, you're not getting rid of your home stereo, you know, because the, the quality level just isn't quite there. And, you know, what, what is home stereo quality, uh, you could ask? Well, if you're an audiophile, what you'd say is, is four things. One, if you close your eyes, there's a sound stage around the speakers. You don't, the speakers disappear acoustically and there's like a stage around the speakers where you can hear the performers performing that's much larger than the speakers, right? So a large sound stage. The second thing, maybe the most important in some ways, is precise imaging and separation. Each instrument you can, you can place in space individually, right? Each instrument you can, you can imagine where it is in that sound stage, and it's not, they're not all muddled together, right? They're separate, they're clear, and you can almost imagine, you can almost see where they are if you close your eyes in that sound stage. The third thing is a wide frequency range. You know, you want to be able to have great bass, but you also want to be able to hear, you know, the highest frequencies as well. And lastly, you do want room-filling power, but without distortion. And most of these products, you know, a lot of products really distort when you crank the volume up. So these four things. And... Um, there are some higher-end products, so higher-end stereos that certainly do better at these than the powered speakers uh, uh, that the iPod uh, has in its economy today. You know, here's a higher-end Bose product uh, that's, that's certainly much better. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stereos like this. This is a Denon one with some speakers on it uh, that works pretty well. Uh, we're going to introduce one today that has some of the attributes of the iPod speakers that are out today, but really the home stereo quality that we see in products like this, that are very competitive with products like this and even exceed some of them. So today we're introducing the iPod Hi-Fi. And it's a companion product to the iPod. It's really home stereo reinvented. Because what we see is your music is not in CDs in your cabinet anymore. It's on your iPod. And so your stereo is really ready to move to an iPod-based stereo. If we could just get the quality up on the rest of the system. And we're doing that today with iPod Hi-Fi. This is iPod Hi-Fi. Take the grill off. It's a three driver system. This is what it looks like from the top a little bit. And one of the keys is right on the top, we've got a place to plug in your iPod. We've got a universal iPod dock built right into the top of it. And we've got these plugins for every iPod that has a connector on it that we've ever shipped. And so you know, our two most recent ones, there's the one for the Nano. There's the one for the fifth generation iPod, but there's inserts that come with the iPod Hi-Fi for every iPod we've ever shipped with a dock connector. And there's even an auxiliary input on the back. So if you have a shuffle and you go out and buy a cable, you can plug your shuffle in too if you want to. Uh, and you can see the volume controls and everything right on the top. So you can actually just drop your iPod right in it, whether it's a Nano or a fifth generation iPod. Now let's take a look inside. This thing is a lot more than it looks like on the surface. You can see the handles, by the way, built-in handles right on the side. Let's take a look inside, though. There's a lot going on in here. The first thing we see, let's take a look at the back. We've integrated not only the electronics, but the power supply right in there. So there's no power brick. It just plugs right into the wall. Because you get tired of all these power bricks dangling around, especially you know, in your kitchen and places where you see them right out in the open. And you can power this off six D-sized batteries. So if you want to take this out you know, to the cabana or the pool and listen to it out there, you can just pop in six D-cells and go out and listen to it for several hours outside and get great sound wherever you are. Then we've got two 80-millimeter mid-range drivers, and these are in a sealed acoustic suspension. So these are sealed chambers to get the most out of these uh, mid-range drivers. They're actually kind of wide-range drivers that handle from the base all the way up. 
and now the base system. We've got 130 mil millimeter dual voice coil woofer, and it is a ported base reflex design. So you can see the ports coming right out the front. We get great base out of this thing, and it doesn't distort when you crank it up. A lot of work went into this. So this thing's a lot more under the hood than it seems like. And on top of that, of course, the universal dock connector and the integrated handles. And again, to make great sound, you've got to have a sealed enclosure that doesn't vibrate. This thing is a sealed resin enclosure. And it's really, really good. And when you hear it, uh, you'll be hearing the results of partially that. So a lot in here. We've also done a lot of work integrating it with the iPod. One of the little things we did was we made it so that when an iPod plugs into this, uh, there's a little software update going out for the iPods. It actually puts a speaker menu item in the main menu, right? Software updates going out? Already out. It's already out. Great, even better. And uh, speaker main menu item and it pops up. And when you look under there, you can set the tone control for flat, or you can boost the treble, you can boost the bass. Uh, you can have the backlight always go off or always stay on while things are playing. And then there's the large album art, which I like. You can basically, rather than watching this, you can just have the screen go black and put up the album art and leave it on, which is really nice in the fifth generation iPod especially. So integration with the iPod. And of course, you control it with the Apple remote, the same exact Apple remote we use on the computers. So uh, you'll be quite familiar with it, hopefully. So this is the iPod Hi-Fi. Let's take a look at some of its features again. Two 80 millimeter mid-range drivers, 130 millimeter dual voice coil woofer, uh, ported bass, bass reflex design, so we get some great bass out of this, universal iPod dock, Apple remote, uh, we've got auxiliary and SPDIF uh, optical audio inputs and uh, integrated power supply so there's no brick, uh, battery powered and integrated handles. So we're pretty, pretty happy with this. And so home stereo quality, we think we can deliver this really for the first time uh, in the iPod ecosystem. And uh, how much does this cost? Well, you know, this Bose product cost over $1,000. Um, these kinds of products, you know, $800 and up, a lot of them cost over $1,000. And we're delivering audio quality that is absolutely competitive with these products in the new iPod Hi-Fi. And we're going to price it really more in the iPod economy space at $349. $349. And it goes on sale today. So you're probably saying, oh, by the way, here's one right here. <laughs> it's really nice. So you're probably saying, OK, so when can I hear it, right? Well, rather than play it in here, because this is a slightly larger room than it was designed for, we actually have some rooms upstairs that we want you to visit. We have a kitchen that we've set up. We have a dorm room that's set up. <laughs> we have uh, a living room that's set up. And we have a study that is set up. So some of these have all the products in them. Some of these just have the uh, iPod Hi-Fi. But you can listen to the iPod Hi-Fi in all of them, and you will get a real feel for what this sounds like. And uh, so right after we're done here, uh, we'd like all of you to go upstairs and take a listen. So iPod Hi-Fi. It's home stereo reinvented for the iPod age. And I got to tell you, this thing is so good. I've been using one for the last month, keeping it, you know, a little cloth over it at home and stuff. <laughs> I'm an audiophile. I've had stereos costing a, well, I won't say, but you think, <laughs> you think I was crazy, but a lot. And uh, I'm actually getting rid of my stereo uh, that cost a lot to go with these things. They, are, they have phenomenal sound. And I think a lot of our customers are going to have more than one of these around their house. They are really, really good.